do I look like a peacock or what? <laughs> hey, what's up? So today and every day my hair is a mess and I don't know when this video is gonna go up exactly, but it's New Year's Eve for me and I've got no plans. And my boyfriend works the night shift, so I'm just kinda hanging out at home. And I decided to just film something. So what I wanna do is I wanna do something with a blue eye look, because I don't do that very often. So, so I grabbed out three palettes that I have some blues in. Two of them are Kathleen's, obviously. Um, and the other one is the Jean-Michel Basquiat Urban Decay palette, the Tenant palette, I think it is. And actually this was the first big like makeup purchase I got because my boyfriend and I love Jean-Michel Basquiat so much, like he is our favorite artist. So I love this, I haven't used it in forever. These are the two blues that I'm probably gonna use, but I love this palette because it's canvas and you can hang it. So it's like you have a little teeny tiny Jean-Michel Basquiat art piece. I love it. And then the other two is the Dream Street palette with Kathleen and ColourPop. So these two shades I was looking at and the Zodiac palette. Whoops, these two right there. So um, if you watched my last video, you know that I was about to organize all my makeup. I found some other concealers I hadn't been using because I've been using the same stuff over and over again. So I'm going to try the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer on my eyelids. It squirted out everywhere. Uh, it's too much. Uh, I'm just gonna pop this right on this pimple and see what I can do with it. It looks like she's here to stay. It's okay. We embrace our flaws. Now I'm just setting with powder. I'm first gonna go in with a little bit of a transition shade from the Dream Street palette. I'm gonna go in with Shooting Star right here. Okay, so I've never used this brush before. It's the Luxie 140 Detailed Taper Blender brush. And I'm gonna use it to go into the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat Tenant palette. And I'm gonna go for the shade Untitled right here. And use that in my outer corner. And I'm very afraid. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> it's not quite working out the same way on the other side. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> oh, so I'm using a different brush now. This is an e.l.f. brush. E.l.f. eye crease brush. So I just tried to blend a little bit. It's it's a mess, but that's what this channel is. So and just back in to like intensify some of these middle areas that got faded away when I blended. Okay, so I'm suddenly in a rush because my boyfriend just called and he basically wasted his time going to work today. Long story, he's coming home and we might be able to make it to some plans. And I don't think I want to wear this, I look crazy. So I just want to finish this and then take it off. And I'm talking really fast. But I'm going in with um, uh, Boom, Boom right here and I'm putting that in the center. And so I'm gonna put that on the whole, um, whole rest of the lid. And I'm using the brush that came with the palette. Um, but it's just pretty much like a flat shader brush. Do I look like a peacock or what? <laughs> what am I? I don't know, this is weird. I'm not doing well. I'm going into the Zodiac palette and I'm gonna grab the Pisces and I'm pretty much just gonna put that uh, center maybe? Center of my lid with my finger? And just blend it wherever it needs to be blended to. We're not picky, are we? So I pretty much just ended up everywhere that boom was. But that's okay. There we go. I'm not brave enough to actually wear this anywhere. <sighs> okay, so I wanted to try um, this Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I got like a little mini sample of it. 
that's not my color. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this like pump of this Fiona Styles foundation in here to lighten it up. Let's just hope this works. I don't have time for this to not work. All right, I'm gonna go back in with this concealer. My skin looks really dry. <sighs> I can't go anywhere. Where am I supposed to go somewhere? I didn't think it mattered what foundation I used <laughs> because I wasn't gonna go anywhere, but I was tricked. And I'm gonna set everything with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. I look so crazy, I can't go anywhere like this. I mean, actually on camera it doesn't look bad, I look kinda cute, but when I look in the mirror, especially in my bathroom lighting, mm-mm, honey. <laughs> I like the idea of it, but my application was really messy, and it's really bold, like, I don't go places like this, I don't really go anywhere, so when I go somewhere, people don't expect me to show up like this, you know? All right, I can't keep talking, I have to, I have to go, I have to hurry. Hurry, hurry, so I can take this off and do something else. So the same bronzer situation as my last few videos is what we're gonna be going for today because it's quick and I know what I'm doing. Well, I wouldn't say I know what I'm doing, but I okay, sort of do. Same blush as my last few videos, the Tarte Amazonian Clay. This blush is in the Shane Party and that's what I'm about to go do, I think if I can pull myself together. All right, and then, why did I put that over my eye? Is everything okay? Okay. I guess I gotta do it to both now. And I like to use this type of brush for my highlight because it like hugs the cheek. I'm gonna grab this again and just put a little bit of that on the lower lash line. Going back in with that highlight, the inner corners. Some mascara. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And lastly is lips. So I'm gonna go in with these two. These are both from the Dream Team, um, like bundle, ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collection. This is Dreamy. Everything rubbed off because I've used this so much, but I think it's an ultra satin lip. And then this one is Moonchild. It's an ultra glossy lip that I'm gonna put on top. Okay, that's Dreamy by itself, which is really cute as is, but we are going to pop Moonchild on top. Bloop. Bloop. And that's with Moonchild on top, and I really like it. So even though it looks a little bit crazy, I think it's still really cute. Um, and I, I had fun along the way it, until I had to start rushing. Um, so I still I still need to rush, so I gotta go. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I don't know about you guys, but this year for me was just like a blob of time. I don't remember it. <laughs> but this last little portion of the year hasn't been the best. So I'm hoping to just wash my hands of all of it and dive into 2019 with no bullshit. But yeah, I gotta go, because I don't wanna show up to this party with my boyfriend's family looking like this. Um, so I gotta do something more low key. Wish me luck. I hope that you enjoyed this look and that you had fun watching this video. And by the time this video is up, it's 2019 already. So I hope you're having a happy new year and I'll be back soon for a new video. Bye. If you're wondering what I'm doing to be more low key, you can hear Joseph in the background because he's home and we're rushing. I'm going to, I just put some stuff in my crease and actually, oh shit, it's messy. Let's just pull in that. You can hear him shaving. <sighs> shaving. I don't even know what I'm using anymore. I'm just grabbing something. Um, and then I'm gonna use this, um, the Kathleen and ColourPop Supernova Shadow in the shade Constellation, I believe. Yeah, I've actually never used this just all over my lid before. I've been wanting to, so I'm just gonna do that. So that's what it looks like. It's fine. It's whatever, I don't care anymore. There we go. It kind of just completely blends out into just sparkles. I think my sparkles are up too high. I'm gonna blend a little bit. I'm gonna take Shooting Star from the Dream Street palette again, and I'm just gonna blend some of those sparkles from up top. I 
I'm blending it away too much. I want it to be more opaque in the center at least. And I'm gonna do a little bit more in the inner corner with the highlight from earlier. Let's do a little bit on the lash line with Elfish from the Dream Street palette, top and bottom. Just to define a little bit. And I already have my mascara on, so it's hard to get in there, but I'm trying. Good enough. That's the finished look. All right, bye.